Here we will discuss the basics of performing a contact transscleral laser cyclophotocoagulation using a semiconductor diode from Iris Medical. Using this method, a continuous wave of 810 nanometers energy is used to ablate the ciliary body. This is the Iris Medical Instruments Iculite SLX G probe. The G probe is connected to the diode laser using a fiber optic cable. The edge of the tip is aligned with the limbus. This allows energy from the tip of the probe to be delivered 1.2 millimeters from the limbus. The spot size of the laser energy is fixed. However, several parameters can be adjusted. The usual starting power is 2000 milliwatts and the duration of energy is typically 2 seconds. The laser is controlled with the foot pedal. It is important to keep the foot pedal depressed for the duration of each treatment. The laser will automatically stop after it has reached its program duration. Prior to starting the CPC, a retrobulbar injection of anesthetic comprised of 50% lidocaine and 50% pupivacaine is given. The non-operative eye is patched for protection from the laser. Once good anesthesia is verified using tooth forceps, a lid speculum is inserted between the lids. Protective eyewear should be worn prior to starting the treatment. We typically treat 270 degrees of the limbus for the initial treatment. The tip of the probe is held firmly against the globe in the correct orientation. The foot pedal is depressed for the entirety of the cycle. The dial laser will signal the surgeon with an audio beep so that the surgeon will know when the laser is active. At the end of the cycle, the probe is moved slightly along the limbus. Another cycle is repeated. This is continued for approximately 18 applications for 270 degrees of limbus, or 6 applications in 3 clock hours. At the end of the procedure, a subconjunctival injection of dexamethasone is given. A pressure patch is put on the operated eye. The patient can remove the patch the next day and start postoperative medications. The patient is typically treated with topical cycloplegia and steroids such as atropine twice daily and prednisolone four times a day with a slow taper after one week. The preoperative anti-glaucoma medications are continued. The follow-up appointment is given in four to six weeks. If the intraocular pressure improves on follow-up, the anti-glaucoma medications are weaned off one by one.